Good evening and welcome to the community meeting for Lebeau Channel at 28th Street and Decatur Avenue Channel Improvements Project. Uh, it's October 7th, 2021, and uh, this, is, this meeting will be recorded uh, and posted on the city's website. The, the address is shown below. Uh, it's also uh, will be posted to the city's YouTube channel uh, later after this meeting. My name is Michael Wellbaum. I'm the project manager in the Stormwater Capital Delivery Office for the City of Fort Worth. Our project engineer on this uh, project is Matthew Busby. He's with Lockwood, Andrews, and Newnham. Uh, also with us tonight is Myra. She is the uh, council aide for Council Member Flores. Uh, he couldn't be with us tonight, uh, but I, I can tell you that we greatly appreciate his support of this project. He's been a great friend and, and supporter of the Stormwater uh, Office of, of the City of Fort Worth and all of the improvements that we're, we're working on, and we greatly appreciate his, his support and are, are happy to have Myra here tonight. Hello, As good I evening. Move to the, hi. I'm sorry, I just wanted to thank you for presenting, and I want to thank Jeffrey for getting this organized for the community, and we'll proceed with your presentation. Great, thank you very much. I'm, I'm really happy to have you here tonight and, and tell council member Flores, we, we do appreciate him and his support. Um, as I move through this project tonight, if you have questions, you're welcome to put them in the chat window uh, or at the end of the presentation, I'll, I'll be happy to open the floor to questions uh, if there are any as we get to the end of the project. I'm gonna give you a little bit of background on the project and then we'll talk about the project scope, and I've got uh, some schedule information and we'll wrap it up with some questions tonight. So starting with a little bit of the background on the project, uh, this project is one of several projects that are uh, have occurred and will continue to occur along the Lebeau Channel Corridor. That corridor runs from the west uh, fork of the Trinity River at the south end, and the upper end of the Lebeau Channel project is almost up near uh, Meacham Airport, runs through the Diamond Hill community across Long Avenue, and uh, extends down to this area at 28th Street. Uh, we've had several improvements over the years, one of which is the 28th Street crossing. Uh, we've, we've increased the culverts, culverts at that location at the Bren, uh, Dewey Street crossing to the north, and most recently we completed Brennan Street to the south. Uh, all of those culvert improvements uh, were, were necessary to provide capacity for the channel as we enter into this next phase of widening the channel and creating a, a greater capacity to convey flood water. Um, which is, is the primary reason uh, for this project is, is to prevent overtopping at 28th Street and uh, some of the flooding that occurs under the railroad tracks. So this project is located on 28th Street right at the Decatur Avenue intersection. Uh, we don't anticipate really getting into the, into the street or pavement or traffic at all. This will mostly be a channel widening project and an excavation at that location. So just a, a couple other background photos that I thought were, were pretty important to include. And if you live in the area, you certainly know what happens uh, in large storm events at the railroad crossing. Uh, they're just to the west of Decatur Avenue. Uh, floodwaters do tend to, to occur at that location. This project will, will be one of two things that are going to help alleviate that flooding. Uh, this project will provide additional capacity in the channel. The second part of that is a tech stop project that's currently under design independent of this project, but, but that tech stop project will increase storm drain capacity at this intersection and make some improvements to the roadway. So the two projects combined uh, will greatly reduce the potential for flooding at that location. Uh, the other picture is just a, uh, another picture along the channel. The channel is just uh, to the left of the fence that you see in the picture, uh, and, and at times floodwaters do flow through that through that area. You can see on the fence the debris and, and things that have been caught uh, over the years with flooding in this area. So to, to address project scope, one of the first things I want to point out is that the existing Culvert crossing at 28th Street is going to remain. We're not going to 
change it or remove it, uh, it'll, it'll stay mostly untouched. Um, you can also see in this picture <coughs> the existing channel, <coughs> excuse me, the existing channel alignment uh, in, in the black line that kind of meanders from the right side of the screen down to the left side of the screen. Uh, that's the existing channel uh, as it is today. Uh, and, that, and that undersized channel is what we are planning to address in this project. So the next slide shows a schematic layout of what uh, improvements will occur in this location. Um, mostly we're realigning the channel, lowering the bottom of the channel, and then we've got some improvements planned that will help stabilize the channel bottom. Uh, we also have a core permit, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers permit. Uh, it's an individual permit that will address uh, the restoration of, uh, of landscaping and environmental features along the project. And, and ultimately, it'll be very similar to the project that we did at Brennan Street to the south. Uh, so in this picture, you'll notice a kind of a gray, uh, wide gray line that meanders through from the right to the left, that is the is the proposed channel bottom. It'll be a pilot channel uh, that will that will convey low flows. The little blue uh, uh, features that you see periodically along the channel are armoring that will uh, prevent the channel from moving. Uh, kind of keep maintain the alignment that we're establishing, and those will also provide. Uh, for riffle pools and a little bit of turbulence in the flow that helps oxygenate, oxygenate the water and, and aids in water quality ultimately. Um, the green areas that you see on, the, on both sides of the channel are uh, riparian uh, buffer zones, basically planting zones that uh, will occur in the, in the flood, uh, the floodway area of the channel. Um, those are intended to help stabilize the channel bottom and, and offer some environmental benefits um, through, through catching silt and debris. And then as you move out away from the green area on the bottom of the page or the east side of the channel, you'll notice a lot of what look like polka dots. Those are, are trees and additional riparian plantings that are intended to meet the requirements of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineer permit. And then on the opposite side of the channel, the west side, which will be at the top of the screen, uh, there are fewer polka dots. That area is intended to be more of, a, of an urban um, park-like setting, maybe a little fewer trees and a little more open uh, along that area. Uh, it's not part of the core mitigation area, so, so the, the plantings will likely be a little bit different. At the right side of the screen, you'll see a big uh, kind of a box uh, that has two blue uh, ovals in it. Those are stilling basins or, or sedimentation basins. Uh, as the flow enters this area from the, from the north or off the right side of the screen, it will cascade down these two pools. One, the one on the right is, is at a higher elevation than the one on the left, so the water can, uh, can spill over and cascade down into the channel, and that will help with uh, reducing velocities and reducing the potential for erosion and scouring in the channel uh, over time. Um, and, and those are necessary until a future project comes along to, to continue this channel section further north. Uh, but that will be a, um, this is a, a phased approach to fixing Laveau Channel. So there will be many projects as we move forward in the future. This next image is, is a section through the channel. If you were standing in the channel bottom, this is kind of what it would look like. Uh, you see right in the center that uh, bank full section or the, the pilot channel section where, where most of the low flows will occur. And then you see the floodplain bench or, or riparian buffers that extend out on each side. That's a little bit of a, of a low flat area with uh, plantings that are uh, more native or, or conducive to, to that zone of a, of a channel. And then as, as you extend up the banks, on the right side of the screen, 
represents that core mitigation area. Uh, it's, an, it's an enhanced uh, zone with, with more trees and shrub-like plantings that are, are specified in the, in the U.S. Corps permit. On the left side of the screen, you see the, the urban landscaping area. Uh, that area is intended to be a little bit more open, uh, fewer trees, and, and maybe a little more manicured than the, than the right side of the channel. But that's a, that's a typical uh, channel section through, through the work that we're doing. One additional feature that, we're that we uh, included in the project from a planning perspective is a trail extension. Um, and I'm happy to, uh, to report that we've partnered with the Park and Recreation Department and secured funding. So we've been able to actually include this trail in the project. Uh, it'll be a, a, a nice amenity that will connect the Tex Rail Station that's there at the corner of Northeast 28th and Decatur. Uh, it'll connect that, that station through Trail Drivers Park uh, and south past Brennan and to the, to the neighborhood there south of, of Trail Drivers Park. So this will be a great extension uh, to continue that trail theme uh, in, this part of the, in this part of the city. So the last slide I have is kind of a, an, an overview or a recap of what we've talked about. Um, of course, this, this is a roadway overtopping project, a mitigation project um, intended to reduce the potential for flooding at 28th Street and, and provide for greater conveyance of flood water. Um, and as I mentioned, the TxDOT project that's, that's, up, that's being designed now will continue to address flooding under the railroad and uh, the railroad underpass there to the to the west and continue to make that area a safer uh, area for pedestrians and, and for traffic. Um, this project also also will uh, per restore floodplain function from a from a natural standpoint and an environmental standpoint. Uh, it'll It'll reduce maintenance costs as well with the addition of, of features that will help prevent sedimentation uh, and erosion in the channel, um, should help reduce further maintenance costs. Uh, in terms of schedule, uh, I'm, I'm really happy to announce that we're ahead of schedule. Uh, the, the folks at Lockwood Andrews and Noonan, our design engineers, done a great job of getting this project uh, designed and, and helping uh, move it along. So while we originally planned the, to be complete with our design in the spring of 2022, we're actually looking to complete it in the next uh, month or so. Um, this, this project meeting was uh, designated to be the 60% plan review meeting, but we're, we're actually at 90%. So they've, they've moved quite rapidly. Um, all of that should get us started in construction about it about six months to a year before we initially thought we would start construction. So that's, that's good news for us and a, and a good way to get another project under our belt. Um, this project is funded through bonds. So uh, the, the estimated cost is 5.2 million for the total project design and construction and, and everything included. So we're really happy to, to have this one close to, to being on the ground and looking forward to reducing the, the flooding and issues that have occurred in the past at 28th Street. And with all of that said, I have, have gotten to the end of my presentation and I'd, I'd love to open the floor to questions. Again, my name is Michael Wellbaum. Uh, my telephone number is 817-392-7343. Email address is michael.wellbaum at fortworthtexas.gov. Uh, Wellbaum is spelled W-E-L-L-B-A-U-M. And you can also find information about this project on the city's website. Uh, easiest way to do that is to go to the city's website and type Laveau Channel in the search bar at, on the website, and that will take you right to uh, this project and, and some other information about the channel. So with that said, are there any questions this evening? I don't see anything in the chat window. Well, I want to thank 
uh, everyone for participating tonight. It looks like uh, uh, we, we've we gotten, uh, oh, I do have a thank you. You're welcome. I'm, I'm really happy to be able to present this, and this project's been one that I've been involved with for quite a number of years, so it's, it's I'm looking forward to getting this built. Uh, this video will be posted on the city's website, so if if uh, uh, if you know anybody that wasn't able to attend, please let them know. They can go download this video and see what we're doing. Thank you again for attending, and with that, I'll say good night. Hi, thank you. You're welcome.